हेलो एंड नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल सिग्मैक्स म विवेक राजा हामी मोशन अफ एन इलेक्ट्रोन इन द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सँग रिलेटेड न्यूमेरिकल प्रब्लम्सहरु कसरी सल्भ गर्ने भन्ने कुरा सिक्न जाँदै छौ एन इलेक्ट्रोन इज एक्सेलरेटेड थ्रु अ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अफ 2000 वोल्ट एंड देन इट इंटर्स अ यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड अफ 0.02 टेस्ला इन अ डायरेक्शन परपेंडिकुलर टु इट फाइंड द रेडियस अफ द पाथ अफ द इलेक्ट्रोन इन द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड Given mass of electron is equals to 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg and charge of electron is equals to minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Now let's make a flow chart of the given problem. Number 1. An electron is accelerated through a potential difference of 2000 volt. Number 2. It then enters a uniform magnetic field of 0.0 to Tesla in a direction perpendicular to it. And number 3, what is the radius of the path of an electron in that magnetic field? Yeah, our main goal is to find the radius of the path of the electron. Now, we have to find the radius of the path of the electron in the centripetal force. And in this case, the magnetic field is the centripetal force. Ko role play gari Therefore, we need to find the magnetic force on the electron. Tara, Magnetic force nikal nako lagi, we need the velocity of electron. In our case, the velocity of electron is provided by potential difference. Vani pasi, edi hamle number one ma potential difference use gare ra electron ko velocity nikal yo mane, we can use its value in number two to calculate the magnetic force on the electron. And finally, by equating the magnetic force and centripetal force in number three, we can find the radius of the path of electron. Now, Let's execute our plan and solve the problem. Number 1. An electron which is initially at rest is accelerated through a potential difference of 2000 volt. Let small b be its final velocity. Now, how can we find its final velocity? We know that in our case, kinetic energy gained by electron is equal to the work done by potential difference. That implies Kf which is final kinetic energy minus Ki which is Initial kinetic energy is equal to E times capital V, where E is the charge of electron and capital V is potential difference. Since the electron is initially at rest, its initial kinetic energy becomes zero, whereas its final kinetic energy will be half m b square. Hence, the above equation becomes half m b square is equal to E times capital V. Putting the value of m, e and capital V that is potential difference, we get half times 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg times v square is equals to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb times 2000 volt. Here we have taken the magnitude of charge of electron. Solving this equation, we get v is equals to 2.65 into 10 to the power 7 meters per second. Now let's solve for magnetic force in number 2. As per as the formula, the magnetic force experienced by a charge Q moving with velocity V through a magnetic field B making an angle theta with magnetic field is given by F is equal to Q times V cross B or Q V B sin theta N cap where N cap is a unit vector perpendicular to both V vector and B vector. This means that the magnetic force on a moving charge is always perpendicular to its velocity and magnetic field. Therefore, the magnetic force cannot change the magnitude of velocity of moving charge but only direction that is, this magnetic force acts as radial centripetal force. Now, let's put the value of Q, V, B and theta in the above equation and find the magnitude of magnetic force. In our case, Q is equal to E representing an electron and theta is equal to 90 degree since v vector is perpendicular to b vector that is velocity is perpendicular to magnetic field hence fm is equal to absolute value of minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb times 2.65 into 10 to the power 7 meters per second times 0.02 tesla times sine 90 degree or fm is equals to 8.48 into 10 to the power minus 14 newton now, let's solve for the radius of the path of electron in number 3. As we have discussed earlier, this magnetic force provides centripetal force to electron and therefore the electron moves in circular path as shown in figure. If 
R be the radius of circular path of electron, then the expression of centripetal force is given by Fc is equals to mb square divided by R. Since Fc is equal to Fm, we can write Fm is equals to mb square divided by R. Now putting the value of Fm, m and v, we can write 8.48 into 10 to the power minus 14 Newton is equals to 9.8. 1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg times 2.65 into 10 to the power 7 meter per second square divided by r. Solving the above equation for r, we get r is equals to 7.53 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter, which is equal to 7.53 mm. Hence, the radius of the path of the electron in the given magnetic field is 7.53 mm. If you want to solve this problem without calculating the value of magnetic force, then use this formula R is equals to mb divided by be. In this way, we can solve the problems related to motion of electron in a magnetic field. I hope from now on you all can solve this type of problem. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notification when I upload a new video. I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, bye bye.